Assalamu alaikum, I'm Anira and I'm with Dr. Amreen and with my diverse yet innovative team, we're going to present our innovation to you, which is the Hysterer. Now, every individual who's worked or been in the ER knows that how important it is to receive critical information in order to treat patients effectively. Yet, things such as history, deranged lab tests, um, allergies, etc. From now on, that will be called as first point medical information or FPMI. Now, a person working in the ER also knows that it's really difficult to get first point medical information. By the way, in our survey, which we conducted yesterday, 92% of the people who conducted, who were there in the survey agree that it is difficult to get data. So the reason being is either that the attendant does not know enough information about the, about the patient, or um, they have a, it takes a long time to retrieve the data from the uh, electric or patient records. So what do we propose? The Historer. The Historer is a card containing a QR code which is unique for each patient. When that card is scanned, it can retrieve the FPMI from the pre-existing database and show it to the physician in real time within a few seconds. So let's see how this works. Now, Mr. X is a long-term client of Hospital A, and he has brought the histo card. So when Mr. X enters into the ER with the histo card, the physician has to scan the card using a barcode scanner, and um, after the biometric um, security check, the scanner will retrieve the FPMI from the pre-existing database and transfer it into a consolidated matter and present it to the physician in a simple screen within a few seconds. This will help to overcome the efficiency problem. Now let's talk about accessibility. Suppose patient X now lands up in the ER of hospital B. The physician over there can scan the card and this will ac retrieve the information from the web server of hospital A through us and present it to the physician in a similar format. So if the Historia is implemented, it would not only improve speed, but it would also cause a paradigm shift in Pakistan regarding the exchange of medical information between various institutions. Further, this has the potential to be scaled up and sustained at a national level. Yes, some I similar ideas are in place in other parts of the world. However, our idea is slightly different because we are using pre-existing data in our resource-limited setting instead of spending money creating a new centralized database. Our project would be sustained by revenue from the people who benefit, the patients who would pay a one-time fee, and the institutions which would have a yearly subscription. So uh, we conclude that our um, project is effective. Um, no. They can share the information. Um, so we would serve as the intermediate, and we would relay the information between the two hospitals. The information would be in the individual hospitals. Correct. What do you think a person would pay for this card? Have you, have you done any research on that? Um, so for the card specifically, it would cost maybe a couple of hundred rupees. No, or yearly oh, um, so we propose that a patient would just have to um, use it once, but the institutions who are subscribing would have a yearly subscription. Um, and is, does that answer your question? Sorry. So the patient is paying nothing other The than patient is paying money. just for the card, oh. but for the subscription, the institution would have to right. pay. So what is the implementation cost? Implementation cost? Um, so a startup one time um, would be, say, a printer would cost up to one lakh rupees. Um, some of the scanners that we've described would cost a few thousand rupees. Uh, the web server would depend, uh, depending on, very depending on how much information we want to store, but our plan is to start small and then go up and get different partnerships from uh, sponsors, and then as we sustain... So you obviously need hospital A for the database, for starters. Yes, correct. Like give their information to hospital A. Correct. Is it possible to put the information on the card so that you don't have to transfer it from that? Um, we, we have thought about this. Um, there are, that is possible. That has other limitations, such as how will it update in real time and whether it will get, or that information will get old or not. 
Um, so we've thought it out and we think that this system is more effective, but yes, it is possible to have a little bit of information on a card, so, which will have a chip. Yeah. Thank you.